Hi, it's uh, Marco Catanio representing Charles Sturt University with another study aid uh, for the subject ITI 597. Uh, this time we're going to talk about knowledge and I think the great philosopher Immanuel Kant uh, once said science is organized knowledge, wisdom is organized life. We're going to have a look at like the service knowledge management system. So what's this service knowledge management system, uh, also known as the SKMS, all about? Hey, do you find it difficult to find certain information back in your organization? Hey, can you still find that report that you produced like six months ago and if, for example you may need it again or you may need to like you want to make some updates to it? You may have to create like a similar report today, but you can't find it anymore. Well that's most likely because you don't have like a holistic view on all the information and all the knowledge that's available in your organization. And that's exactly what the SKMS should provide to you. One view on all the knowledge, on all the, on all the information that exists out there in my organization. Okay, so what is the SKMS? The SKMS is a set of tools and databases that are used to manage all that knowledge and to manage all that information. So you can like access it, retrieve it, reuse it, improve it and leverage of all your existing knowledge okay so you don't have to reinvent the wheels over and over and over again it says here the SKMS includes the so-called configuration management system the CMS as well as other tools and databases have for example the federated CMDB the federated configuration management database a number of databases that contain for example information on your hardware on your software and for example also on your network components So what does it say on this slide? It says the Service Knowledge Management System, the SKMS, it stores, it manages, it updates and presents all the information that an IT service provider needs to manage the full life cycle of IT services from cradle to grave. The reports, the statistics, how you're doing your maintenance, how you're providing support, that all that stuff creates information and, and data. And the whole thing is that needs to be properly captured, it needs to be properly processed, and it needs to be properly like made available to those who need access to it. So here's another view on the contents already presented like in the previous slides. So, for example, you've got your configuration management databases. And the configuration management databases, they typically contain like information on your configuration items, for example, hardware, software, network components, and the important relationships between those items. Now, the idea is to link all the information that, that sits in your CMDBs to your so-called CMS, your configuration management system. You want to link, for example, if you've got an issue with your desktop, you want to link the desktop to the incident record. If you have like 50 similar incident records, you want to link it to like a problem record. So we're now going to like combine all this service management data together. So that's where we like look at like the configuration management databases and the configuration management system. If you go one, one step further, you actually move into the so-called service knowledge management system space. That's where you start to link, for example, your service management related data to, for example, the business data. For example, the number of users, the number of business units, uh, performance data of your organization. And you start to link all that information together. So you really start to like create like a full-blown information system. So lots and lots and lots of data and lots and lots and lots of information end up in this like service knowledge management system. Now the question is like why? What do you want to do with all that stuff? Well the idea is like actually to make some proper uh, decisions based upon all that data and all that information and all that knowledge available to you. So the service knowledge management system uh, becomes a fantastic tool uh, to gauge the health of your organization. It contains information uh, not just on IT components, but for example it also contains knowledge of your staff experience levels. So what type of roles can we use where? Uh, user numbers uh, and behavior. For example, if you have to like, provide a number of licenses uh, to certain business units, you want to know how many. 
uh, organization's performance so you can properly align a capacity with your business requirements and here suppliers and partners requirements had to actually maintain a good relationships with them so it's a lot more than just like hey how many PCs do we have and how many licenses do we have we really start to like link in like IT information with like business requirements and that's what like the knowledge management system is all about because you want to make in IT the right decisions eh, to support the business Chew, musky. Practice what you preach. Hey, it's of course all about understanding the value of the SKMS. As a network consultant, you've been asked to give a recommendation on whether or not the current network has enough capacity. So what information and what knowledge do you need eh, to make a proper and justified decision? Uh, I assume you're probably interested in things like the current capacity, uh, the current bandwidth, uh, the number of like network issues encountered, uh, growth plans for the business and also like any new and existing like network consuming services so if you start to change the network you want to make sure and you can still deliver the existing services but also cater for any potential new services so try to add some more of these like uh, informational examples to the list temple question hey what's needed from the service knowledge management system at the SKMS to create decision-making capabilities? Answer A, data. Answer B, data and information. Answer C, data, information and knowledge. And answer D, the latest storage and search technology. Hey, I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about the answer and then we'll move on. Okay. So, uh, of course, the answer is answer C. And you've got your, your, your raw facts, uh, the data. You've got your process facts into information and knowledge on how you can apply that information to the business, uh, to the environment. So answer C is the most like relevant and correct answer. So, what's the next topic? Uh, in the next topic, we're going to define and explain the concept of a configuration item. Uh, so, what is a CI? What is a configuration item? Hey, until then, uh, live long and prosper. Nano, nano. And as always, I'll be back.